All right. We're on location today. Back in my uh, hometown, Southern Ontario. And we're going to the drag race as well. It's about 40 miles or so to the uh, to Picton, which is where the drag races are. It's a small airstrip that they close a couple times a year for, uh, for doing this sort of thing. So we're gonna check it out. already bragging on the uh, arm drop Facebook page that I'm coming after all the 16 second cars there I don't exactly know that this will do that but we're gonna give her a go huh? I would imagine it will that little Chevy Sonic piece of shit that I had last year I think that was 1760 or something like that 17 and a half it was nothing special but it was fun though they got a kick out of it up at the line. It looked a little sillier than this, though. It, you know, it was like a hatch. It was a yeah, five door. Anyway, this uh, little area is called Wooler. Essentially, a part of Quinney West, which is a larger municipality. Uh, we're coming up on Trenton here, which is my hometown. Most of its claim to fame is the uh, Canadian Air Force Base here, which is the largest in Canada. And where we're going is Picton, which as I mentioned is about 40 miles east. We're going to come through some nice little towns. I really like, I like the small Small little towns in southern Ontario, I think they're really cool. Lots of farms. You know, it's, it's, it's super neat. Saturday, September 16th, by the way. I came in on Thursday night. And I go back to BC on uh, next Friday. I usually spend just a little over a week here, kind of thing. I don't like being away from the house for too long, so. This area is about, uh, how many miles it is? I don't know, maybe 200 kilometers east of Toronto is where we are right now. In between Toronto and Kingston, essentially. Later we'll probably get some shots of Lake Ontario when we get down into the, into the county, as they call it. For the front camera, check out here on the left. There's a cool little place here called the Forge, and they've always got old cars and stuff there. They obviously do a lot of old car, uh, either repairs or restoration or whatever. But 
I love checking, I love going by there when I come here. Oh, actually, this one's Probably be there for about 11:30. That's my guess. Kind of going the long way because I like the little towns. As I mentioned before, I like the little sleepy little towns. I like kind of a sucker for the picturesque. chopper in the front camera. I can't remember what they call those four-bladed ones. It's kind of like an, Iro uh, an Iroquois or a, a Huey, but it's the more modern. It's an updated version. gab a little bit as I'm driving them simply because I kind of grew up in this area and I don't uh, really I think it's probably the first commentary I've ever done from Ontario not sure may have done one before got a couple of other videos of me driving through downtown Trenton and that uh, dad's firebird the one that's going to be up here at the track today about 30 minutes my cohorts are going to uh, meet on their bikes and drive out. They'll probably be collecting up here at a gas station. This is the uh, garage over on the left here the guys will be meeting in a bit to get the bikes hand for them. Our buddy Archie worked there for quite a while, I think. Dad had told me that he thinks in the back there that they might have some old uh, signs that he made with the uh, plastic extrusion or the plastic uh, Oh, vacuum form, plastic vacuum form sign making machine that him and my grandpa ran for a while. It's magnetic on the back and you can, you know, take it off the wall and slap it on a truck or whatever. Wayne was saying we should probably go in and ask him if they've still got those in the back there. I'd love to get a picture of them. Uh, ever since about 2011, 
I've always tried to time my trips to Ontario to uh, accommodate this race. There's three of them a year now, May, June, and uh, September. Uh, last year, I guess I was at the May one last year, the September one got rained out. And uh, this year I didn't get, I wasn't able to leave Victoria for May, so this will be the one and only this year. I think I've got at least one a year since 2011. And in some years I got two. I've only been to the June one once. I think the June one has uh, tractor pulls as well as the drags. signs soon, but this has become kind of uh, a bit of wine country. Lots of grapes. And wineries. And, uh, I mean, as farming has kind of declined, um, you know, they had to uh, fill it up with something. Uh, you'll see a shit boat ton of corn. That's all for ethanol. Though. Which I think is a waste of fucking time. I don't think ethanol does shit. Well, it, it helps to subsidize the corn growers, I suppose, but full subsidies in uh, farming is also not much productive. It's odd because uh, I really don't believe in the 10%, uh, you know, ethanol ratio uh, that we have here in Canada. It makes more sense if it was much more, uh, you know, if it was the 85, which some countries are more accustomed to. Um, that makes a little more sense because that actually does displace some, uh, you know, some fossil fuel. But at the same time, you got a shit ton of land tied up in corn. And, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty hairy little situation, I think. Holy shit, Fox Body Mustang Central, at least. But there was 20 of them.
there are still people traditionally farming around here, but it's not a very successful, like you have to be doing it for your own sustainment. And a little bit of local, you know, farmer's market action, but that's about it. Just like everywhere, the big, you know, mega farms have pretty much destroyed that whole way of life. Which I find to be super sad. Lots of different areas of southern Ontario, for sure, but, uh, you know, this is kind of the area that I, that I know and admire as, as it. Lots of new mansions along here by the lake. On this side, it's Lake Ontario proper. Here it kind of looks like a little American, you know, Midwestern American town, but on, with a Canadian bent. Yeah, I like little uh, main streets like this. I remember rolling in here in the uh, Studebaker, and of course it was all it had the cam put in, and it was all bumpy and shit. It was the antithesis of the, of the quiet little borough of this sort of little neighborhood. Angry and gnarly, barely running, you know, barely idle. And that's why I like Souk so much, you know, like uh, it's it reminds me of this kind of thing. You know? it doesn't have as much old, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have 200 year old houses in it, but. Rural folk. There used to be a really good flea market in this town here, and they had, uh, especially a bookseller that had the cheapest goddamn books. It was crazy. Kind of fair action going on today. Yeah, what's going on here, buddy? Uh, I'll fuck up the old downtown 
Yeah, this is Wellington here. I, I thought that's what it was. Of course, they don't stand out at all. Oh, I think he hit that fucking van. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, good lord. Yeah, buddy. Give her a little bump, did you? I could, you know, I'd wrap up these some of these old houses. I was a trillionaire. Shift back to Suki. I don't stand out much today. I'm not even allowed to wave at the glass of cars. Sometimes I do, and I forget. I'm glad people like Garb Drop, uh, you know, are keeping that thing alive. I mean, this is what, from all the reading I've done, from what Dad's told me, you know, this. This is the beginning of, of how drag racing got started. You know, old military runways or whatever, not used anymore. You know, weekend, wrong with your wrong, old-fashioned shit, you know. I mean, they've got a timing uh, set now, but, you know, old days, proper arm drop. Pro cross the line, no time, no, no time slips. Uh, now it's getting a little bit more sophisticated, but it's cool, you know, it's still, that's righteous, I think that's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with NHRA and, and uh, big time drag racing, but uh, uh, there's something about just the weekend, get dirty, get the car going, take it out on the strip, you know. enough of an audience around here. People come from fair distance. I mean, there, there would be people coming from the city and from Kingston. And maybe even some from Ottawa or whatever. I come from BC, but <laughs> you know, it's uh, there's enough people around here that it supports itself. It seems to be a bigger crowd every year, so I think people are getting the message. Yeah, I really uh, I admire them for standing up for it, you know, because drag racing, you know, it's important, I think. It keeps people off the streets, you know. And I mean, that's what the NHRA was uh, designed to do. It was, it was primarily a safety organization originally, which was trying to avoid deaths on the streets and people killing themselves street racing. So. You know, organization of the event. The rules of this one are a little bit how you do it, um, but I guess that's because they don't want to, you know, burden it with a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it's just they do tell everyone to be safe. You know? you know, the rules are just just there to uh, keep you safe. Grandparents and I would often go on drives out this way. And Dad might stop for lunch somewhere or whatever, but uh, the most part just to go and drive. The uh, sandbanks are down that other path there, and uh, that's a pretty popular spot in the summertime. 
beachgoers. Eventually, that I saw a sign. Kind of like Wellington, too. Whole county, uh, well, Hastings, Prince Edward. Um, it's a retirement area, kind of like Victoria is, if you will. You know, people who get out of the city or whatever. And most people around here, even though it's kind of rural, they've also got a cottage somewhere sometimes. quite as uh, newly wet or nearly dead, but probably more on the nearly dead side. You got here, what? Area, I think the locals call the county. It's Edward County in this case. I think, but my uh, Grand Craddock was uh, in the Hastings, Prince Edward County Regiment. There's guys from all over this place. And I think all. Than, uh, volunteers. In a little town like this uh, that's loyal to the British Crown, there's no need for conscription. for the city boat, city folk and the Quebec Waterway boat. I'll probably take some shit for that comment someday. Okay, here's the roundabout, so I gotta remember I can go right. Sounds correct. Sandy Hook Road sounds a little, uh, but I think that's the way I gotta go. Oh, Cherry Valley makes more sense. Oh yeah, drags. Oh, hey. Now we're gonna see the cool shit coming down here.
this just cuts off the uh, needing to go right through picked in proper you just end up going through it and out of it so. It's only 10 after 11, so if the guys were on time, they'll be uh, heading out on the bikes. Ford. The flames on it. smaller scale you know anyone can run kind of thing done away with tickets which is unfortunate because they have got a nice little collection of them but they've gone to these shitty wristbands and don't mean anything. It's probably cheaper. Oh, I'm sure it's cheaper. Not as collectible. I'm not sure I've ever seen an actual lineup. Anyways, I'm not the one seat.
there's some pretty hot cars that come here too. Some pretty heavy hitters. You know. Love it if the jet car came back. <laughs> 